Hi, this is Martin here. Now in this uh, tutorial here, uh, I will be showing you how to insert uh, um, indicators that's typically that you found on technical analysis. And the one that I will show you is actually is the uh, volume indicator here. But before that, let me just clear this off uh, and show you how we do that. Okay. We put it down here. So typically, a lot of the uh, charts that you see here tend to may not have any volume. So I'll just clear this too, just to show you how I delete them. Right. Uh, what I'll be doing, I'll just be putting one of the indicators which is very popular in technical analysis is moving average. Okay, moving average and volume. So this is in any technical analysis chart. You can see this is basically a very blank chart. Okay, uh, there is a button right below here which is a negative. Uh, this is to zoom out and a positive to zoom in. So it's at the bottom right hand side of the chart. Left to zoom out, right to zoom in. Okay, and if you have this and on the top side there's a combo box here. Can you see this combo box? That's it's all the indicators that you have. Now I believe uh, Metastock has more than 150 indicators. At the same time, there is also customized indicators that you can write and pre program to, but that's beyond the scope of this uh, very simple tutorial that we're doing. So what we want to do uh, first is actually to insert uh, a volume into the chart. So remember volume, uh, this generally are sorted in alphabetical order. So volume is V, so we have just have to scroll right to the, notice this is in the middle part, uh, about almost two third down, you will see that's here the volume is. Now notice that the volume, the bar has changed to a hand sign, meaning it is ready to be dragged into the charts. Okay, make sure you click on the volume. Okay, now notice when you see this, Notice the icon has turned to a hand, a palm, okay, more like a palm, and you can drag and drop it right at the bottom of the chart. So this is a volume, you just do it, and you notice this is highlighted, it's pink, or it's purple, sorry, it's purple, and because volume, you want to keep it as a separate uh, inner, uh, uh, so-called separate inner chart so we want what we want to do is to actually drop at the bottom. You notice now the icon has changed to a, a rectangle, that means it is ready to form a, a region or a lot more like what we call a box. Now if you do it this way, it actually drops into the same chart it is, but we want to drop it into a new uh, region like here, then we click OK, there you go. So we just minimize this and there you have it. We can also change the color of the volume here, highlight it first. Notice when it's highlighted, you'll see the square uh, Sorry, the uh, square markings on the on the top of the each of this pack here it look like a like a square pack. That's right, and you can you know change it to blue. We normally change it to blue, and you can also highlight to be the thickness lightly or harder. This is just some of the variety of things that you could do in uh, MetaStock. So that tells you uh, what we have as a volume chart here. Now the next uh, indicator I want to show you is for the second one is the moving average. Okay, moving average again stands for M moving average. So it will generally be under M here. Uh, did we find it? Yes, again, this is moving average. Okay, moving average. Now in our course, uh, we actually teach you four major moving average we'll be looking at. Uh, but for the sake of keeping this tutorial simple, we're just going to be inserting a 50-day moving average. Okay, 50-day moving average. Now, again, make sure for the moving average, we want it to be uh, sort of plotted on the candlestick it charge. Okay, we want the moving average to be plotted just below, below the candlestick chart rather than a new uh, a window, okay, a new rectangular window like this. So what we do is we can see the hand and we will pull it. Now this is very important, you notice that the uh, icon, or sorry, the uh, mouse uh, pointer has changed to the one at the below, you'll see a wiggly sign or a chart. That tells you, you notice that now I turn black, this has turned purple, black, purple, black, purple. And when you drop that, uh, you can indicate it in here, a simple moving average. Uh, you can change this to 25. In this case, I'll just change it to 50. Right. And I click OK. There you go. That is is how you do a moving average for a 50-day moving average. And you can scroll back and take a look at them.
All right. So that's the end of this tutorial about inserting indicators such as volume and moving average. Thank you for watching.